Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have a figure review so here it is and if you guys are wondering why is it inside is so uh, empty because I've already took out the figure to have a look uh, because just now I just went to a local sort of a small expo over at a small mall and then I came. I wanted to buy the non-grade 1 to 100 uh, Nebula Blitz then I saw this Ichiban Kuji Kuroko no basket this is uh, Kuroko himself so yeah and I saw the price was actually quite quite reasonable to a point where I forgot whether this is an original or not but whatever uh, since I've already bought it so uh, I guess I just uh, just do a quick review for you guys so here is the place I bought this at the, the organizer of this place is called Toys Toysable and as you guys can see I bought this for 90 ringgit and as I went on to check on the website here is the eBay page it says here the Kuroko uh, selling on eBay is 108 so I guess the price is actually quite reasonable but it's slightly cheaper than um, this original shop so I'm not really sure whether it's still original or not but yeah anyway let's take a look at this box right here so of course at the top we have this Ichiban Kuji sign and this to tell you guys this is actually my very first Ichiban Kuji figure so I'm actually quite excited but uh, yeah let me just have a look now you guys can see here uh, black this haze means black guy I guess I think it means uh, the jersey and you guys you can see the bun presto and then at the bottom here you guys can see this the A type and there's only one I guess at the side here you guys can see Seirin Seri is number 11 and at the back here is how it looks like and at the side you can see this Kuroko figure is how it looks like so yeah you can see here Tetsuya Kuroko and then bottom here is just black at the top here you guys can see here the Kuroko box so inside is actually kind of cool so let me just uh, take it out and show you guys uh, what can you see inside so here is how it looks like you guys can see Tatsuya Kuroko here and then inside I'm not sure you guys can see it says here the basketball which Kuroko plays as you see and then the other side you guys can see is Seri 11 so overall I think the box is kind of cool so yeah and by the way I was uh, the reason why I thought that this figure might be a fake is because um, there's no toy sticker so I thought uh, okay this might be fake already but uh, after I check along some of the pictures online that is being sell on a different shop uh, the very same shop as well doesn't have the toy sticker on the box so I guess I can say um, this is relatively not a bootleg so yeah so now we'll have a look at the Ichiban Kuji figure itself so here it is the Ichiban Kuji figure let me just zoom in for you guys to see so you guys can see Kuroko his eyes over here actually if this if this is a bootleg I would think this is really a high quality bootleg because usually they will feel at the eyes as you guys can see the eyes actually quite good then the one part which um, started to increase my suspicion is the hair over here I'm not sure you guys can really see but uh, it's actually not that good I if there is other figures I can show you guys about the hair then I think that would make a better comparison but unfortunately I do not have so yeah, as you guys can see here the hair you guys can see is like kind of I don't know it just doesn't feel of Ichiban Kuji quality so yeah but then as we move down over here you guys can see he's holding the sweat I don't know what you guys call that uh, the sweat thing that he's on his arms so yeah next year you guys can look at the body so yeah you guys can see here you guys can see Seirin number 11 and then Kuroko here so yeah and then at his back here as well number 11 without his name this is like all the high school so you don't have a name and at the bottom here you guys can see his pants so just one quick 360 rotation here as you guys can see his legs his shoes I mean so yeah I mean like I say if this is a really uh, bootleg quality I think this is a really high quality bootleg 
But if you say it is Ichiban Kuji quality, you, I can't really say that it really is Ichiban Kuji quality because you guys can see the you guys can see the painting on the socks. So yeah, I, as of right now, I really do not know whether I bought a bootleg or original Ichiban Kuji. But nonetheless, if this is a bootleg, I would say it's a really um, high quality bootleg. But um, for the price that I paid, then it's actually quite disappointing, I would say. So yeah. So I guess that's really it for this uh, sort of quick review on this um, figure, on this Kuroko no Basketo. So yeah, you guys can see here, just a, do a quick 360 rotation. So yeah, this will maybe just put a side or maybe just put another side to collect dust. But then I've gotten to show you guys is the base over here. The base actually um, not too bad, you guys can see the light flag on it. So yeah, and at the bottom here you have another piece here. I don't know, it says here, Ban Presto 2013 made in China. So let's hope that this is a uh, original Ban Presto Ichiban Kuji line figure. And yeah, since it's 2013, I guess that was like, uh, I have yet to discover Ban Presto yet. So yep, hopefully uh, this is the case that uh, the quality wasn't as good as now. So yeah, let's hope that it is uh, an original figure. So I guess that's it today for this uh, figure review. I hope you guys have enjoyed this figure review. And if you guys do have enjoyed, please do not forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to me as there will be more videos like this or Gunpla review coming very soon. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon and I hope all of you have a very good day.